So today I'm talking about a Ford Mustang with the P0420 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is the P0420 code? Well, it's a catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank one. And what does this mean? Well, there are sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. First thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And then they also have heater elements built into them. And the heater elements do a few things. They help it go into what's called a closed loop quicker. They also monitor the catalytic converter. And basically they're reporting back to the onboard computer that the catalytic converter is not operating at at least 95% efficiency. And so these sensors are reporting back to the computer that there's an issue with the catalytic converter. And bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the side of the engine with the number one cylinder, that's gonna be bank one. And the opposite of that would be bank two. And so what would be some possible causes? Well, the first thing is that if there's an exhaust leak, then it could cause issues. So if there's some kind of issue going on with the exhaust where it's leaking or air is getting into the exhaust, that can throw those O2 sensors off and that's gonna cause issues. So be sure to keep a lookout for any exhaust leaks on that bank one side. The next thing that could cause this issue is one of those oxygen sensors has failed. And this also includes the wiring going to the oxygen sensor. These can be tested with the multimeter. It's the heater elements that's monitoring the catalytic converter. So if you use a multimeter, and you find the wires for the heated oxygen sensor side, then you could test these to see if it burnt out because that heater element is kind of like a light bulb. If it burns out, it just doesn't work. You can't check to see what the rated ohms are for it, but quite often when they go bad, they just burn out. So you can't test it with a multimeter. There's gonna be two sensors on each side. You're gonna have bank one sensor one called the upstream sensor, which is gonna be before the catalytic converter. And then you're gonna have bank one sensor two, which is gonna be right on the catalytic converter or right after it. And so there's gonna be two of them. They can be kind of hard to see up and in there. I made a video on where these are located. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the next thing to go and do is to test those O2 sensors. The next thing that could cause this is that the catalytic converter is failing or it's become really clogged up and just having issues. There's a few different ways you go about troubleshooting this. If you have an infrared temperature gun, you could check the temperature before the catalytic converter and then after the catalytic converter. And if it is clogged up, then it's going to be getting hotter before the catalytic converter than after. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing it this way. But basically, the temperature is just hotter before than after the catalytic converter because it's clogged up and all the heat's building up right there. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, that should also tell you what the temperature is before and after the catalytic converter on the sensor one and sensor two, which will also tell you what's going on. And so there's a few different ways you can test the catalytic converter, but the next thing to do would be to check out that catalytic converter and be sure that it's not all clogged up. It's also possible that there's some kind of engine problem going on, like a faulty injector or something like that. And basically it's just clogging up that catalytic converter. And so there's no issues with it, but there's some kind of engine problem going on. Usually when that happens, you are gonna get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford Mustang with the P0420 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.